Virgos, how you doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Welcome to your general love reading for July 27th of 2023. It is a general love reading, so it's not going to... Oh, my nostrils just, I don't know, I'm just having some nasal, weird nasal thing. Maybe some of y'all got some nasal issues or something. I don't know. That was weird. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single Virgo out there. But if it does resonate with you, don't forget to hit your girl with a like button, please. Subscribe, share, leave me a comment, and tell a friend. What's going on in your love life? It's a pleasure to see all of you. I hope all is well with your loved ones, your pets, and yourself. Overcoming challenges. Somebody wants to overcome some type of challenges with you, Virgo. You're ready here. Some of you, you're ready for something. You keep pushing it to the side. You keep saying, oh, you got to do this. You got to do that, blah, blah, blah. The universe says stop procrastinating. You're ready. That's not for everybody. Because whatever you use, like you're waiting for the, yeah, free yourself here. It's like you're waiting for the right opportunity, the right time. It's never going to be the right time. It's always the right time, rather. Just go. Just do it. You got very soon here. Ooh, something's happening very soon. Give it time. Blooming. I love when this card comes out. This means you're doing very well. A lot of you are very abundant. You're, you're growing every day spiritually and outside of your spirituality as well. But then you got teamwork here. So there's definitely somebody here that wants to overcome challenges with you, Virgo. Um, you have give it time. Some of you, this person feels like it's going to take time. Free yourself is here. So a lot of you have freed yourself from something. But teamwork is here. I feel like some of you could be dealing with somebody that you work with. But I feel like for most of you, this is somebody wanting to work with you. They want to overcome some type of challenge or challenges you guys have had. Um, they feel like it's going to take time, but they want to work on this now. Let me see the overcoming challenge. Family. This person wants to have a family with you and falling in love. Some of you may have a, you know, have a child with this person. What is you are ready? What are you ready for? Not for you. Self-love. Some of you guys are practicing self-love or you need to be, but you need to make sure there's somebody that may not be for you. Some of you Virgos, or if it's not a specific person, it's just the universe saying no and somebody ain't for you. What's the give it time card? Missing you. Aww with fantasy versus reality on the bottom. Some of you Virgos gotta make sure you distinguish fantasy versus reality. But with the missing you card, somebody's really missing you. You guys just may need some time here. What is the very soon? What's, what's happening very soon, Virgo? It is safe to fall. Some of y'all gonna be in love soon if you're not in love already. Or some of you, something about this person will open up to you more emotionally soon once they realize it's safe for them to fall. What's the teamwork? Fresh start. Somebody wants to have a fresh start with you. Start my life from scratch. Blooming is relocated. Well, some of you guys are relocated and it got you feeling real good. That's what's up. You've been wanting to go to this place for a minute. What's free yourself? Some of you may be a job. Worth the wait. Some of you freed yourself from some situation here. And now you're just waiting. Somebody could have had a hidden agenda. But whoever, you know, you're waiting on love, I feel like it's worth the wait. That's what's up. Let's see what this other deck here got for you, boo. Shout out to all the members and all the Patreoners. Thank you, guys. You got timing here. Somebody could be born on the 10th. It says time is important, not too late. Divine timing, trust timing. There's no rush. Be present in delays. Then you got high honor. Somebody could be born on the 25th. Mm. Promotion, raise, a success, award, recognition, fame, mm. achievement, high society, positive public opinion. And then you got direction, uncharted territories, aligning new experiences, finding your way, inner compass, exploring and searching. 
Where are you going? Some of y'all taking a trip or you've been traveling. But with the high honor card, you're very respected, especially at work. Some of you Virgos are getting like a raise or you just really honored at your job. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who's in the public eye, somebody who's really honored. That You know, it says fame, achievement, public opinion, positive public opinion, recognition, kind of like the Six of Wands card. Right. And then with the family room, it says private family matters, comfortable matters kept secret, inner soul, intimacy, private discussion and retreat. Some of you could be like retreating. I mean, you are a Virgo. Some of you could be spending time by yourself, spending time with family, spending time at home. Disconnection here, detached, alienation, indifference. Reluctance, no interest, dissatisfied, missed opportunities, and self-absorbed. Somebody feels like you've disconnected from them. Some of y'all, this person is self-absorbed, but they could be seeing you as a missed opportunity. Fortune teller, a lot of you guys are very intuitive. You could be tower readers yourself, some of you. Maybe you just are very tapped in. Maybe you pull tarot for yourself. But it says psychic gifts, unexpected news, intuition, external forces, future, the unknown, fate, and seeking answers. Some of you Virgos, this person went to a fortune teller to get info on you. Maybe they got a tower reading on you. Imprisonment. Trapped, isolated, restricted, stuck, unwanted obligation, holding back, self-imposed limitations, and forbidden. Somebody's holding back. They're keeping themselves like... It's like somebody's being directed towards you. They think they're being guided towards you, but with the imprisonment card, something is keeping this person trapped, or isolated, restricted. But a lot of you, this is somebody that feels like there's a disconnection between the two of you. On the bottom is sweetheart. Some of you could be born on the 5th, the 7th, the 4th, and the 11th. Or you got the, um, I just saw the 19th, but it says in love, sweetness, mutual feelings, devoted, good intentions, innocence, love is in the air, love and affection. Somebody thinks you're so sweet, Virgo. Somebody thinks you're such a kind person. But this person here on the table, they feel like there's a disconnect between you and them. This person got readings on you or something like that for some of you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what the tarot got. That was juicy. Better than before. Now, Virgo, you already know if you guys want something more specific, you can email um, my business email, which is MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com, okay? Does take, um, it's a it's an expedited reading, so you'll have the reading within 24 hours. That's all I'm doing right now are expedited readings. So um, if you're interested in that, shoot me an email and we'll get you booked for a one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to connect with me on social media, Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. So check that out. And my Twitter is Stalk Miss Hawaii. We can be friends on there too. So let's see what else we got from my birds. What is the energy around Virgo in love? Some of y'all dealing with a Libra. What is the energy around my Virgos in love? How does this person feel about you? Who are they? What's their current energy? The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Uh-oh. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that's not putting in no type of effort towards this. The Chariot. Somebody got two dogs. And I see somebody walking through the park. The world in reverse. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius you're dealing with. The Ace of Pentacles. Somebody new. 
and the magician in reverse. Gemini energy. Bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles in reverse. I feel like that's you. Some of you Virgos are trying to get your money up. Or trying to create more stability in your life. Some of you have been spending a lot of time alone. That hermit shit. Excuse my language. A lot of you have been working on yourself. Some of y'all have been masturbating a lot. <laughs> what the hell that's about? Because some of you might, might be celibate or something. Or you were for a while. Practicing abstinence for a while. But there's somebody around you you cannot trust. With the magician in reverse. This person could be another Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn. And my mom was playing tricks. Let me get this deck right here. I'm going to use this deck right here. You know, certain decks are called to you, Virgo. They call to you. They say, Virgo. Look me in the eye. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have fire in your chart as well, a lot of fire. Let's clarify this and see what's really good in this hood. What's really good in this hood, Virgo? Somebody new is definitely making you an offer. With the Ace of Pentacles, something stable. But you do have another person here, a different energy here. So what's the Ace of Wands in reverse? What is this? Some of you, Virgo, somebody made you an offer and you declined it. Yep, Ace of Wands in reverse twice. With the Tower and the Hangman. Some of you decline somebody's offer. Or you will. Could be a Scorpio. With the tower here and the hangman Pisces energy. It's like you think about something here and you like no. You like no. Something you thought about here. From a you just seeing it differently. What's the three of pentacles or some of you just got out of a relationship or had some crazy breakup, some ending, and some of y'all just kind of chilling and not in a rush to be with anybody new or to start anything. You know what I mean? Some of you. See that? Nine of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all have been spending time with family. Something about family. But with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, somebody's at a distance from you, but they still feel like you and them could have this happily ever after. They still feel like you and them could have this Ten of Cups. But this is somebody Five of Pentacles that feels like you're giving them the cold shoulder. What is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, my God. What was that? The Chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Yeah, somebody's not giving to this King of Cups, but they love you. But this person is not doing anything, Virgo. Something could happen with money for a few of you. What is this uh, Chariot? This is you guys just kind of moving forward. Some of you are like traveling or just be doing your own thing. A lot of you guys, a lot of you Virgos, you really have overcome a lot of obstacles here. Things that really try to hold you back in life. It's like you overcame all of them. Some of you Virgos, some people try to spread lies about you. Like some gossip, some, some false shit all you know what i mean all fake stuff it's like people try to gossip about you to stop your money your pentacles right what's the world here in reverse knight of pentacles the sun in reverse and the three of wands in reverse yeah there's somebody you were really patient with but this person doesn't want to close out this cycle with you could be a leo or another earth sign but some of you don't see a future with this person or something like that. But it's like they don't want to let go. Who is the new person? Who is the Ace of Pentacles here? The world in reverse tried to pop out again. Some of you are not ready for new yet. That's not all of you, but Three of Swords, you see? 
Some of you still need to heal from some type of heartbreak and some type of deception. Some of you have been cheated on a lot or you were cheated on and it really hurt. Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords, seven plus three is 10. Endings, betrayals, it's like somebody's offering you something new, but some of y'all, either you got trust issues, some of y'all may not be ready for it. What is the magician in reverse? The strength in reverse. Some of you dealing with a Leo. The hermit. Didn't I say you've been keeping to yourself with the nine of cups again, but you've been happy. It's not like you're sad. It's like you're, you're good being in your own company. But I feel like it's irritating somebody here who thought they was going to manipulate you. Who is this king of pentacles in reverse? Somebody's an artist. Somebody you freed yourself from. Yeah, that misses you. You freed yourself from somebody here. You distance yourself. I don't know why I'm getting for some of you. Somebody's sex started getting trash. That's not all of you, but this Ace of Wands in reverse here twice. For some of you Virgos, somebody stop putting it down in the bedroom. Don't look at me like that. Somebody stop put somebody. Mm -mm, somebody. Mm. They sex ain't getting it no more. Like a dull knife, dull knife just ain't cutting it. Like my dad used to say. All right. Anything else for this person's feelings towards Virgo? Well, that just flipped right over. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Who is this? The Queen of Swords. Few of you are dealing with a same-sex connection. Yeah, this is. There's definitely somebody here that you're not talking to at the moment. Um. This person is in their feelings about you. They could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Judgment. This is some of you Virgos pulling back emotionally from somebody because you feel like it was the best decision to make with the Judgment card. You made a Judgment call. Some of you felt like this situation was holding you back or you kept going like, in a, in a circle with this person and you weren't getting anywhere except for emotionally drained. So some of you just, you know, made a judgment call here. Some of you made a big judgment call here. Yeah, two of swords here. The decision you had to make. Judgment again, yep. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, right? Um, it's not telling much show it's talking about you, but all right, this person here that's not putting any effort towards this or doing anything, how do they feel? The Six of Cups. They just sitting there thinking about you a lot, reminiscing about the good times y'all had together, the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, and the Knight of Cups. So this person is just in love with you. Four Swords again. This is definitely somebody you guys are not talking. They're missing you. This could be somebody that you took your power back from with the devil in reverse. Maybe at one point you guys were obsessed with each other. You guys, it was kind of codependent or toxic. Maybe you guys were powerless. <laughs> Maybe you guys let this person have a lot of power over you and not anymore because they're seeing the situation as the devil in reverse. I mean, maybe it was the other way. Maybe this person felt like you had power over them, but Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whoever they are, they still are in love with you and have a lot of strong feelings. They just feel like y'all are taking some time right now. What about the new person? The new person. How does the new person feel about Virgo? <laughs> Five of Wands in reverse. Page of Cups. They could be younger than you for some of you. Three of Pentacles in reverse and the star. The new person thinks you got somebody else. You could be an Aquarius. They're seeing you as like the star. They think that you're like somebody who gets a lot of attention or somebody very healed. They're seeing you as a wish come true. But with the three of pentacles in reverse, the new person could be scared that you got somebody else or they feel like you're not being very cooperative. And they don't want drama. Whoever this new person is, they definitely don't want drama at all. 
Hmm. All right, let's go into the extended end. Come on. Always dropping cards. Well, make you spend money. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Oh, control. You see, that tried to pop out. What's going on in the future for Virgos in love? Who and what is coming towards Virgo in the future in love? So in the extended, we're going to reveal these Amira Love Oracle messages from my Virgos. Then we're going to go ahead and we'll look at some tarot for you to see what you can expect from this person or these persons in the future or just in general in love. And then we'll go ahead and get you some advice, Virgos, to see how you should proceed moving forward in love and just overall. All right. So thanks for rocking with me. I love you guys. I hope to see you in the extended. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. You guys have a blessed week. And don't forget, if you want a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Check out the description box for numerous ways to connect with me via social media. Much love to all the members, all the Patreoners, everybody who's donated to this channel, who's given Amazon um, gifts to me. Thank you guys. You guys are a blessing and I love you so much. You guys keep your head high. Make sure you're praying. Drink your water. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Keep your vibrations high, all right? I love you, Virgos. I'll see you guys in the next one. If not, well, no, I better see you in the next one. Not if not. You better be back here when I have another Virgo reading. But if I don't see you in the extended, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Virgos.